years in a row together. Teammates for the city of Los Angeles. And their names will be linked for all time. Please welcome Keel O'Neill. people about Kobe Bryant. All right, now Duncan and Matt Barry alongside having some technical difficulties out there. We will take you back out to the Kobe Bryant, Gianna Bryant uh, celebration of life out there at the Staples Center now. We've been watching it for the duration of it. Mm -hmm. And some of the stories we've heard, especially from Vanessa Bryant, her first public appearance since the tragedy, and just the stories and emotions she shared was remarkable. First, first, first of all, the strength to go up there and address 20,000 people in arena and essentially the world with what she's going through with what her family's going through But I what I think has been so incredible so far about this celebration of life is that we all really knew or felt like we knew Kobe the basketball player yeah. Mamba mentality it's well documented who he was on the court and that killer mentality that he had uh, But this has been really revelatory. I think for a lot of people just finding about Kobe the man the I dad I will tell you when you hear stories from people that had a life personal connection with someone you just don't understand, you really understand how much we didn't know the person just based on some of the stories we heard, even from Rob Palenka. And Absolutely. You see Anthony Davis, a lot of the NBA representative, Michael Jordan just spoke, made the crying meme joke, which is amazing. Shaquille O'Neal is up on the podium as we speak. And so to get an insight from Kobe as a person was remarkable. It certainly is. Here is someone that knows him very well yes. and intimately, Shaquille O'Neal. We get you back out there to L.A. The greatest music of all time. Kobe and I pushed one another to play some of the greatest basketball of all time, and I am proud that no other team has accomplished what the three peak Lakers have done since Shaq and the Kobe Lakers did it. <laughs> and yes, yeah, sometimes like immature kids, we argued, we fought, we bannered or insulted each other with offhand remarks, our feud, but make no mistake, even when the folks thought we were on bad terms, when the cameras were turned off, he and I would throw a wink at each other and say, <laughs> We never took it seriously. In truth, Kobe and I always maintained a deep respect and a love for one another. The day I gained, the day Kobe gained my respect was the guys were complaining. I said, Shaq, Kobe's not passing the ball. I said, I'll talk to him. I said, Kobe. There's no I in team. And Kobe said, I know, but there's an in me in that. <laughs> so I went back. <laughs> so I went back and told Rick and, uh, and Big Shot Bob, I said, just get the rebound. He's not passing. <laughs> Mamba, you were taken away from us way too soon. Your next chapter of life is just beginning, but now it's time for us to continue your legacy. You said yourself that everything negative, pressure, challenges, is all an opportunity for me to rise. So we now take that sage advice to now rise from anguish and begin with the healing. Just know that we got your back, little brother. I'll look after things down here. I'll be sure to teach Natalia, Bianca, and Baby Capri all your moves, and I promise I will not teach them my free throw techniques. <laughs> <clears throat> but for now, I take comfort in the fact that as we speak, Kobe and Gigi are holding hands, walking to the nearest basketball court. Kobe will show her some new mama moves today, and Gigi soon matches her. Kobe, your heaven's MVP, I love you, my man, until we meet again. Rest in peace, Kobe. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much for tonight. Um, but you know, it's not. You know, it's, it's not about um, my jerseys that are hanging up there for me. You know, it's about the jerseys that were hanging up there before. Um, you know, without them, I couldn't be here today. They inspired me to play the game at a high level. And it's also uh, about the next generation, embodying the spirit that exists in those jerseys up there and carrying this organization forward so that the next 20 years are better than the past 20 years. And that's what it's about. And then it's also about the fans. Fans. Um, And uh, it's about family. It's about my wife, Vanessa. <laughs> you know, you guys don't know this, but the last game, my last game uh, that we had here against the Utah Jazz, I was really tired. I got home and I was like, you know what? I don't know if I can do this thing. Um, I got one more game left, but I don't have any legs. And she said, I want to show you something. I got a gift for you for your last game. And uh, she proceeded to show me a row of retired jerseys from Baylor, from Magic, from Shaq, from Cap, all with personal messages signed to me, including from Michael Jordan, including from the great Bill Russell, including from the great Larry Bird. And when I saw that, I knew then that I had to turn it up. I had to turn it up. So thank you, baby, for being an inspiration to me. And, uh, and lastly, our daughters, Natalia, Gianna, and Bianca. Um, you know, I, 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 I hope that tonight is not, you know, you guys know that, you know, if you do the work, you work hard enough, dreams come true. Thank you guys so much. I love you. And, uh, Mamba out.